In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature in Shadelight version 2. The animation tool is a feature that lets you render your SketchUp scene animations with Shadelight materials and lights. Using the SketchUp scenes, you can now walk or fly through your rendered SketchUp model, even turning lights on or off. To render a SketchUp animation in Shadelight, you need to set up an animation first using scenes in SketchUp. So we can see I have four scenes here and I've set up a simple animation just using a camera path so that we're walking through the town. We can see in my scene dialog box here as I go through that all of my scenes are set up and they're all ticked to include in animation. Now just as the animation in SketchUp would ignore any scenes if you remove this tick, in Shade Light this is the same as well. So you do need to be aware that uh, you want this ticked for all your scenes to be included in animation. Once you've done this and you've set up your animation, you then need to set up your scene just as you would normally to render in Shade Light. So in any of your lights and materials, if you set all of these up, and then in your Shade Light render settings, select your output resolution, how high quality you would like if it's an exterior or interior, just so just your standard Shade Light render settings. So we can see I'm rendering this animation as a chalk render, and uh, I'm going to render this at this video format, so the 720HD. Once you've done all that, you're then ready to render your animation, and we can select the new animation icon in the Shade Light version 2 toolbar. This brings up the simple animation render options. The first option we have here is where we're going to save all of our frames. So if I just browse to this folder here, we can see I've just set up a folder and I've called it Town Animation Chalk Render. And it then just requires a file name. So I'm just choosing my file name as Chalk Town. And as I said, each frame is going to render separately, so it will add the numbers on the end of uh, this file. So this is just the prefix of the file. So I'm going to choose that uh, as my option. And then we choose what uh, image that our frames are going to render as. So I'm just going to keep mine on JPEG, but we can see we have um, PNG and TIFF as well. So I'm going to leave mine as JPEG. We can then have the frame rate. And we can see we have a number of frame rate options here from one frame per second up to 30. And we have the standard frames here such as uh, NTSC and also PAL. So you've got the options there that will work in your country straight away. It will tell us the duration of our uh, animation and how many frames are going to need to be rendered. So we can see this is going to be made up from 188 frames. We now have our frame range that we can render. If you're rendering on a single computer, and we can just choose to render all frames, so that's just going to render from 1 to 188. But there are also options that you can just choose to render from a particular scene, so if I just wanted to render the first part. Or perhaps you have multiple computers with shade light on, and you can get these computers rendering from scene 1 to 2, and then 2 to 3, um, and that just helps sort of split up the load while you're rendering an animation. You can also just render specific frames as well, or just a range. So I'm just going to select all. The overwrite existing frames box, if you have files already in this folder, perhaps you've made a change to a light setting or a color or a material, you want to overwrite those existing frames and that will just start from one again and that, uh, that will just create brand new frames. So once you click on render, Shade Light will now start rendering each frame. So frame by frame it's going to render them and it will then save out the files. Okay, my computer has now finished rendering all the frames. For obvious reasons we've edited the video so that uh, we haven't watched every frame render. It is worth thinking about when you are rendering an animation, as each frame does need to be rendered separately. So depending on how long each frame will take, you can calculate this of roughly how long your animation is going to take to finish rendering. So I can now look in my computer here and I can see that uh, I have my folder here with all of my frames. That's all rendered and we can see each one uh, just moving along slightly there. So we've got my animation completed as all the frames. You now need to use video editing software or even free software that comes with your operating system to bring all of these images in and to create your final video. You can now see that uh, I'm just playing the final video of my animation that I've created. 
We hope you enjoy using the animation tool in Shade Light version 2.